And then he was like, well, you know, while we're getting everything out, Mm -hmm. politics can be an issue, you know, with friends and family. And, you know, you are very opinionated. Mm -hmm. And Jeannie is like, you know, I do have my own political opinions. And, I mean, as long as I'm not being opposed upon. Right. I guess by his family is what she's implying. um, As long as I'm not being opposed upon, that's fine because my beliefs will never change. Which also made me think that's why his family did not meet her last week. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Because he, yeah, she's like, my opinions will never change. Mm-hmm. He's like, you don't think they'll change? How and dare you, my nigga? How this was dare my you? Stevie Wonder moment, because exactly, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? Yeah. And this is how you, it just showed me everything I needed to know about Damien yep. and who he voted for and mm-hmm. what's going on with him politically. For her to say, like, I'm opinionated, this is my beliefs. And he's like, well, you don't think they'll change? No. Mm-hmm. This is what I believe. Mm-hmm. And this and is that you, my life. And this is my lived experience. Yeah, because now politics now isn't really politics. Right. It's like, are you racist or not? Nah? <laughs> right. <laughs> so. <laughs> Pick a side. Ugh. Oh, my God. So that, yeah, that question would just, like, set me off. And I was like, you know what? I know everything I need to know about you. (laughs) And Gigi straight up, she was like, no, they'll never change. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, I'm from Venezuela. Our country is in shambles. Mm -hmm. I literally have to send food and supplies to my family. They don't have shit. Like, this is a reason why I believe some of the things I I believe. This is my lived experience. And Damien's like, oh, my God. I didn't know you send care packages to your family care packages. packages they're not away at college <laughs> thank it's you it's not a blanket and cheetos okay no oh care my packages. god he don't know nothing that's no. how you can see the disconnect yeah. like there's such a disconnect just different life experiences and mm-hmm. the fact that he's asking her if she's willing to change her beliefs yeah she should be asking him that right clearly he needs to be coming onto her bandwagon yes you know? Yes, and clearly there's more at stake for her than there mm-hmm. is for him. Yeah. You don't yep. have to send a crate of clothes and food to another food. country. Right. Like, so. Oh God, that was irritating. Yeah. A mess. A mess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, but, anyways, they end up like making up or whatever at the end. <laughs> Now, Kenny and Kelly, Mm -hmm. damn near forgot about them. They are in bed, they're laying and kissing, Mm -hmm. and Kenny's like, so, you know, we haven't had sex yet, so how do you feel about it? This is my Stevie Wonder can see it moment. We're going frame by frame right here. Oh, okay. Okay. (laughs) Frame by frame moment. You can see Mm -hmm. that my girl had a teddy bear next to her in this scene. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Okay. And I was like, damn, I know you're not having sex with a teddy bear in the in the bed. I know you're not. That teddy bear <laughs> yeah, would have no. been on the floor. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh. I knew before he even broached the conversation. I was like, they're not having sex. That, that ain't happening. Here. She is yeah. snuggling with that teddy bear. God. And not even looking at and, him. And not, yeah. And we learn, I mean, here's where we confront, like, they, I think, are the only couple at this point who hasn't, even yeah. Mark and Jessica have had sex. <laughs> So I was—I remember why I was like a little shocked, like "Oh shit, yeah. Kelly and Kenny haven't done it yet." Um, so yeah, Kelly kind of gives her, you know, her side of things. Mm-hmm. She's like, you know, I think we're so perfect on every level. I don't want to throw that into the mix yet. And she shares how her last—I mean, the last guy she was with—wasn't able to pleasure her accordingly. Yeah, that's frustrating. Um, which was frustrating. And she shared how she's just, like, had trouble in the past with having orgasms. Mm -hmm. And so she's afraid that that might also happen with Kenny Mm -hmm. and it'll be frustrating. And so she's like, I don't even want to, like, introduce that layer yet. Yeah. Um, Then she said something her confessional that I wasn't sure. She was like, "I'm I'm I'm attracted to Kenny. But I don't know what the disconnect is. Our bonds is strong. Mm -hmm. But I can't feel that infatuation with him. And I think in the past, that's why I couldn't reach climax. That was odd. Oh, I thought I found this very relatable. Really? Mm-hmm. 
Yep. That she didn't feel an now, infatuation. Uh, that I don't understand because Kenny's cute. Uh, Kenny's cute. Yeah. And Kenny's so nice to her say? and uh-huh. is clearly being very patient because he is uh-huh. broaching this conversation much differently than most men would. So I don't really mm. understand what that was about. Yeah. Uh, but I do understand the like emotional connection to sex. That I get. Yes, that disconnect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see that. The infatuation and why that's why she can't reach climax with her. I'm not sure what she was getting at with that, but yeah. Um, but yeah, they talk and talk and talk about not having sex, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> I know it got interesting, and then it was like, "But are you gonna?" Yeah, <laughs> they just kept talking to nowhere. I'm like, all right, well, next scene because y'all mm-hmm. back to being boring. Yep. Um, now Lauren meets up with her friend Tiffany. Yeah. And Tiffany's like, so what's up, girl? What's going on? Mm-hmm. And Lauren's like, well, you know, I was doing this dating experiment. Mm-hmm. And Tiffany sees the ring and she's like, are you engaged? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell she was in shock. Yeah. She like just spotted the ring. I was like, wait, what? And that's basically how she found out that her friend is engaged. That's wild. Yeah. Wild. And she's like, yeah, his name is Cameron. He's Caucasian. <laughs> and <laughs> Tiffany takes a big swig of her drink. Yep. Like, what the? This is too much. Mm-hmm. Way too much. Um, and she asks her to be in her bridal party. So, I mean, she said yes. Yeah, she supports her friend, you know, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they just have a conversation. You know, what's the difference between dating a black guy and a white guy? Mm-hmm. And, you know, they have the whole conversation about sex and size and laughing and kiki. Yep. And I like uh, Lauren. She was like, you know, I mean, jokes aside, she was like, I thought I would have to tone down my blackness to be comfortable with him. But I mean, so far, no, I'm just straight being myself. And she said more so what's been more stressful to her is just the whole seriousness of the marriage Mm -hmm. and just being stressed out about that and trying to reconcile all of that. And that was a good, important conversation because blackness Mm -hmm. is not a monolithic experience. Mm -hmm. I personally could never tolerate my uh, if he is white fiance rapping. That would never fly again. (laughs) But they are on Instagram live rapping. He was on Sway Mm -hmm. in the morning. Rapping. Oh, God. Make that money, I guess. Uh, there's no money in an interview, but sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, the press, it all combines mm, into one, I guess. Yeah, I sure. don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, good, important conversation. I love yeah. that they keep allowing these scenes of yes. Lauren talking about her struggles of being a black woman, mm-hmm. being, you know, fully black, being with a, bl- a white guy, and like all of that. I think it's like we don't really see that on TV. So, yeah. Very nice. Um, now Amber and Barnett, mm. they're home. They are recapping, you know, Amber's recent visit to the family, mm-hmm. meet Barnett's family. And Barnett was like, you know, I was expecting the worst because I assumed the worst. And I'm always afraid to disappoint my family because I feel like they're just not sure of me, mm. which was poor Barnett. I know, that's so sad. <laughs> that is so sad to say fine. out loud. Jesus Christ. Mm. That he just doesn't measure up for whatever reason. Like, They're always doubting him. Yeah. Measure up to what? That's confusing. To what? Yeah. And it, again, it shows exactly, it shows a lot of the reason why he's so indecisive. Yeah. Why he was so indecisive in the pod because he's constantly second guessing every action. Yeah. <laughs> and whether his parents are going to approve or people going to, I mean, worry about disappointing people instead of just living for himself. So, you yeah, know, that was kind of sad. It um, was. And it makes me sad that he's with Amber, who's never going to work again and is never <laughs> going to support him in the ways that he might need support. Like, might damn, need support. maybe I want like six months off, you know, mm. and I mm-hmm. just want to just like chill and not do or three months or a month. Whatever. Where I just yeah. like chill. Amber's going to be like, OK, well, where's the savings? Should I just stop right. paying them loans again? <laughs> <God. laughs> it's just like I don't know why he entered himself into this very bad situation yeah. um, so now Amber was like well what if they told you they didn't like me like that yeah. this was a terrible idea and they would never agree to it like then what would you do mm-hmm. or what would you have done and Barnett's just literally you could tell he's racking his head like yeah, shit. I shit that's a great <laughs> 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 he like literally you could see the wheels turning yeah. and he literally said i don't know yeah. he's like i don't know 
Hey guys, that's a little taste of this week's episode. If you want to hear the full recap, head on over to patreon.com slash two black girls, one rose and sign up to get weekly recaps and other bachelor content from us. See you next week. week.